Hi, Kevin Dixon from Denver here. Um, I've always liked sips. They're so strong and lightweight. I've got a demonstration project here at my house. This is a shelf that I made from a leftover sip. And uh, it's, you can see I've got a bunch of junk on it. And there's nothing supporting one corner. I've just got some aluminum brackets uh, holding it down and it's sitting on a ledger but there's no strap holding this corner and there's virtually no deflection so when I have a garage that needed airtight uh, doors I decided to make carriage doors out of a homemade sip. Um, the skins for the sip with this is this nice uh, floor underlayment that you get at Lowe's or Home Depot, 13 bucks a sheet, but it, uh, it's really quite good looking. Uh, so I laid one sheet down here on this OSB. The OSB is just the work surface. Uh, you want it in order to get it as flat as possible your concrete floor has to be pretty flat the OSB comes pretty flat so it helps out uh, the other OSB sheet is going to go on top I've got a I put in some wood for a window I'll make a plexiglass window in this thing uh, uh, the perimeter is one by two and one by four. I've used one by four at the hinge side of this door. So the first surface is face down. I used one by twos because they're very light. Uh, and then, of course, we're going to insulate this door and it's going to be a lot stiffer than plywood. And of course, it'll be a lot better insulation. Here's the half of door. I glued this perimeter wood down already, but you can see it's still pretty floppy. But the insulation and the second skin will make it really stiff. I'm using uh, great stuff for the adhesive. Uh, it's pretty sticky and it's got good shear strength, but it does want to expand, so that uh, makes it kind of tough. You've got to put a lot of weight on this. So I'm putting the EPS insulation panels in the cavity in the door. Again, using the great stuff. down but uh, he wants to rise back up so we've got to get 
wait on this pretty quickly. Okay, now we can put the other skin on. Now we got enough great stuff on there. Got a few minutes working time, just slide it around. Start putting some heavy stuff on it. Staple it to the wood. Need a couple of screws to keep this thing from sliding. It's actually sliding downhill a little bit. Now that we've stapled the hell out of it, it's not, I don't know if you can tell, but it is stiff. It's not floppy at all. So I've got this top layer of OSB now on my assembly. And I'm gonna drive these screws in each one 
applies about 50 pounds of pressure so uh, it's about a, almost a ton you might have been smarter to do these clamping screws before the staples and just do the staples after By now the glue is pretty well set up. Now if you have a lot of heavy things in the middle, we'll keep the middle from bowing up. At the big box stores you can't get the plain white styro anymore um, and you can't get the blue stuff in three quarter inch and this this stuff uh, this insul foam Artec it's got a polyethylene uh, membrane on it which doesn't stick as well as the plain styro well, th thanks for watching and uh, I'll try to get a video of when these doors go up and see how they fit